Good morning, everyone. Um, it's time to start the planking of the upper deck. Um, we went in the outside shop and whipped out the first set of coffee wood um, planks. This is the bulk stock, and they're wider than the normal strakes. These are particularly the bind, the first binding strake. As it comes in, it caters for the difference in the size of the gratings. And of course, I had some more surprises when I tried to install the first two. So let's look at that first little challenge. The three gratings are all different sizes. The, wide, the widest is the main hatch, then the aft hatch, and then the forward hatch. So that um, we have to cut recesses into the first binding streak um, to get a proper fit. And that proved a real problem, but what it really highlighted is that these were not absolutely parallel when I placed them. I would have used the beam to line them up, and I'm not sure whether the beam was off or whether my hand shook. But the point is, each one of them was slightly off. That resulted in each one of them being removed. I tried very hard to um, try and line this up. Um, and it was just impossible. Everything kept moving. Then I realized the best way to actually cut this piece accurately is to do it off the model. And I'll be lying to tell you it was easy. It took a little while. The first one is you need to line up the, the one that's the widest first. Then we line up the one that has no adjustment to be made. We just put a block on it. And that's ready just to hold it in place. And then finally, we put the aft hatch on. And the key <clears throat> is that each of these measurements um, has to be exactly the same. And that's 1.42, 1.42, 1.42. And the same 1.42. And that gives us a very accurate and nice tight line against all of the gratings. And now we can go back on the model and once it fits and I'm happy with it, we can then clean up and dimension um, pieces on either side. We fit the main hatch first, and the forward hatch. <coughs> and I can put that down so the forward hatch which is the smallest of all of them it, the, the plank fits flush against it when it comes to the main hatch this is the widest one it's a fairly big cut and then finally the aft hatch and we get a nice fit and then I Having lined it up, I realized this one has to be recentered as well, so it's going to have to come off. Took a few days to figure this thing out to make sure it was correct. And again, because we use PVA, it was very easy to take the hatches off. So, um, time to take the plunge and let's start planking. So, here we go. We've tapered the aft end of the first binding streak. We've um, also tapered the sides as is suggested in the drawing. Um, of course, it's very difficult now because it's, it has to bend in. Um, so to do that, we've set up a few little jigs. First one, we're holding everything down with this weight. Then we are going to clip this in to put it tight against each other. I still have a little issue here. Then we're going to pull the, the end in. Now we need to weight that down. So we're putting two weights here. Then we'll use this clamp to pull it down. So that's pushing it down. 
and then finally we need to pull these pull this right in so that it's flush and um, and then we'll add a few weights The book shows the front deck planks or strakes um, tapering into the center plank. Um, I was able to taper the two outside pieces, but I found it very difficult to taper the inside pieces as well. So the four pieces, the two on either side of the center plank in the, in the bow um, are actually um, straight pieces, they're not tapered. Perhaps that's not exactly how it should be but um, that's how I'm going to do it and again remember all of this is going to be covered. This was a complex piece I just thought I'd show it to you. This is a simulated join um, and I took six attempts before I got the two pieces uh, correctly built. Real happy with this until I realized I forgot out the bowsprit chuck. So I am going to mark it out and cut the slot. I thought I'd just sharpen up the um, small chisel using the new Veritas system. And it um, really worked pretty good. This is a 8,000 diamond uh, plate. Um really so happy that I purchased this from, from Veritas. So when I have delicate jobs like this, I'm going to get it right. pretty bad stroke. I don't know how I didn't see that because it would have made it so much easier to make those inside pieces. Anyway, another crisis averted. And we are now going to go back to the planking. This is one of the rejected pieces. So what we would do just to keep the record straight is we would cut this piece off right here. And so that would be able to to fit right here and it really would have made this so so much easier to do. It is really this piece that caused me to install square rather than tapered pieces in the front section.
I'm always concerned when seeking to be as perfect as possible when perfection is too much. Here is the base for the capstan and on the port side it's pretty good. I think actually totally acceptable. And here is the starboard side. So the question is, I find that unacceptable. So I'm going to replace them. So for each one of us, um, we'll have to decide uh, what degree of perfection we should have. Certainly my golden rule continues to be, if you can see it in the finished model, um, then you should try and fix it. If you can't see it, you should patch it, and there's no problem with that. You may have thought I left out the main mast deck part here. Um, I've left it for last because in the next video, we're gonna look at the installation of the water pumps. And then we will go on to the installation of the rest of the, uh, of the deck planking. I thought this was gonna be so simple and um, like everything else on this build, it was still a challenge to get it done. I'm going to assume that the rest of it is going to be fairly easy to do. So hopefully we'll get that knocked off by the end of the next video. So we'll see you then. Remember, enjoy your modeling.